what's up? My name is Technobi here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you an update to a previous video of mine from my previous channel here. One of the most popular videos, how to use MIDI songs inside of Rust. Essentially, two years ago, almost three now, Rust added the ability to play musical instruments in game using MIDI input, either using software on your PC, either using real instruments like keyboards and digital drum kits, etc., or for the normal people, software to emulate such devices in our PCs. This was previously a really convoluted process of downloading MIDI files and setting up some kind of relay to get them to play in game, which is probably still possible, though for a lot of people, it's more than you would ever need. In fact, just a few months after releasing this video, they made the entire process a ton easier. So hopefully too many of you haven't gone on a long mission. There's a really simple way around this. There's a few things that you need. This list is a heck of a lot shorter than it used to be. You really just need MIDI files, which is just music in digital form. They're really tiny audio files that tell your PC what notes to press for how long and how hard or how loud versus a bunch of different waves like MP3s would be. They're a ton smaller and of course could be used with any MIDI instruments with an input. One of these would be Rust. All you need to do is navigate across to where Rust is installed and create yourself an instruments folder where inside of it will drop some MIDI files. You can have folders and MIDI files inside of said folders if you'd like some kind of organization. We'll get to this in just a moment as well as where to get them for the most part. To open up the Rust folder, simply head across to Steam, navigate to Rust, right click, hover over Manage and click Browse Local Files. Then it'll take you across to this folder here, we will then right click new folder and create something called instruments or lowercase exactly like this. Open it up and inside of here drag and drop your MIDI files which are usually .mid and when you've done so they're accessible within the game. It's incredibly simple to use. All we need to do is fire up Rust and join any server where we can use instruments. Of course, this could be survival servers or for the ones who just want to test it, you can join any build server that gives you creative sandbox access or maybe something like a 10,000x server. For me, I'll just be searching for any old build server and joining that. So modded and either creative or simply build. There we go. Loading into a server here. I'll open up my inventory, crafting, piano, spawn and place. So, this works exactly as you'd expect. Use keys in your keyboard to play things and hold right click to play the default ditty. In my case, that isn't working here, but we'll get there in just a moment. How exactly do we play audio files that we have inside of our folder? Well, having a look at my instruments folder here, I've got never.mid, which is something you can probably guess. All we need to do is remember the name of this here exactly. Of course, you can F2 or right click rename and Control C or right click copy to copy the text over here. Now that we have the name of the file copied, hit F1 to open up the console and inside of here we'll type instruments dot followed by play recording, which you can see here plays a saved instrument recording. Arg0 is a file name, no extension, space followed by the name of the audio file without .mid after it. In my case, never. If your audio file contains spaces, simply make sure to surround this in quotation marks and then hit enter. Upon doing so, in the game, we'll immediately start bashing away at whatever we're playing or sitting at. If we stand up and head back into it, you'll see that it simply continues from where we left off. If you swap between instruments, the exact same thing happens here. Now, there's quite a ruckus, a lot of smashing going on here, but we'll get to cleaning up MIDI files in just a moment. Let's stop this by right-clicking, which plays the default song. Simply clicking a right-click really quickly is enough to stop playing audio. So, how exactly do we make this a bit easier? You may not want to open your console at all times. Well, we can replace said right-click song, which when we hold right-click, plays the default tune. We can replace it with instruments dot override autoplay and such space followed by the name of the song. Now, getting back to the aforementioned folders, you can see that the pack that I downloaded here has a few different folders for different instruments. The WP is just simply a piano and we have multiple files inside of here. You can keep them in folders for easier organization, which gets especially important if you have tons of files. So if I simply take the name of a song inside of one of those folders, all we need to do is inside of quotes, enter the name of the folder slash and the name of the song without the dot mid after it. It's as simple as that. Hitting enter 
Nothing will happen. However, we can hold down right click and just like that, it'll start playing the audio, stopping and starting once more as soon as we hold right click. Of course, this isn't exactly the best to get away from your PC, for which you'll just need to use the play command we previously covered. Of course, this may not be enough for you, you'd want to hotkey multiple things. Well, we can do exactly that with the default binding options. Hit F1, type in bind, space, followed by whatever letter you'd like to bind. In my case, I'll use I. As you can see, it says nothing in brackets, which means we're free to overwrite it. If you type bind W, for example, and you overwrite that, well, you better hope you remember what the key was previously bound to. For me, I is nothing, so I'll type in bind space I space followed by the command. But this, all we need to do is use the same aforementioned instruments dot play recording or simply play recording. We don't need the instruments dot right before it, followed by the name of the file like this. So in my case, bind I play recording and inside of quotes, the name of the folder and song I'd like to play. Hitting enter and pressing I, will start immediately playing the song right away. It's as simple as that. Right click to stop. And of course, if right click is something else, that will play instead if you hold it. Awesome. So now we can quickly switch between songs just by hitting different keys on our keyboard. We've now got a working soundboard in Rust whenever we're sitting at an instrument or running around with one. But as with the aforementioned Rickroll song, it's very dirty, especially on the low end. Why is this? Well, simply put, drums. Many files can contain multiple instruments, however, when played in Rust, they play as only one. You need to simply edit these files and clean up the lower end from drums and whatever like that. It's incredibly simple and I'll get there in just a moment. For example, this is the default song I downloaded off the internet with a really dirty low end, simply because of the drums here. But I can also use play recording and the file that I downloaded here. Of course, it's a bit of a different tune, but it's a hell of a lot cleaner because there's one instrument focused on, and that's the one that I'm sitting at here. So, stepping away for just a moment, how exactly do we clean up audio files? Well, it's really simple, especially with MIDI. We're not working with raw audio, we're working with a bunch of notes in a file here. We can't just right click and open it with something like Notepad, as that gives us a ton of nonsense. Instead, we need special software. In the description down below, you'll find a link to an open source project. MIDI editor. MIDI's been around since 1990 something. There's thousands of programs that let you edit MIDI audio data. This over here is just merely one of the many projects and it's relatively easy to work with. All we need to do is head here, then on the right hand side, click releases, expand the latest release up here by clicking assets and then downloading the setup.exe. Then when it's done, I can open it up and click through the installation as I would any other bit of software. When it's done, I'll click finish and launch it from my desktop shortcut. Now we have some rather confusing looking software here, but it's relatively easy. If I drag in my audio track here, you'll see that I've already cleaned this up as I'm recording this a second time. Scrolling across, we have all of this data here. These are all different keys at different ranges. If I double click up here where it says measure, I can move the starting timer and hit spacebar to listen to what we have on screen here. At first, it'll give you an error. All you need to do is click MIDI at the very top, then settings, and under MIDI IO, make sure the MIDI output is set to Microsoft GS, etc. When you take this and click close, then come back here, we can hit spacebar and you'll hear whatever we're looking at. So there's a bunch of different instruments playing, including drums and things like that. The bottom end was very crowded while I was in game. That's the section down here. This is where the drums are, etc. All we need to do is highlight the drums or anything else like that, hit delete, and just like that, our audio is a lot cleaner and better to listen to while we're in game. While there are multiple instruments playing, there will only be one playing when we're in the game. So that's not something to worry about. We've removed the drums and it'll sound a lot better on any instrument. This does get a lot easier if you think this looks complicated. On the far right hand side here, we usually have multiple tracks. Each one of these tracks is usually a different instrument. I'll go ahead and download a song with better mapping. Different instruments represented on different tracks. Pulling up a song here, you can see that we have multiple different tracks and thanks to the creator of this audio being nice, they're named differently. Harmonica, guitar, keyboard, drum track. This drum track over here would usually make things sound weird in game. So moving the playhead by double clicking and hitting space. It sounds great before anything, but I'll simply click the speaker button here and the I button here to turn it off completely. And now it'll be much cleaner when we play it in game. 
Hitting Control S to save, you'll see this over here. One or more tracks are not audible, they will be audible in the saved file. What we need to do is delete them here when we're absolutely sure. Then Control S to save, and now when we open them up in game, we won't hear random notes being played, which are simply other instruments. Where exactly can we get MIDI music is one of the most frequently asked questions on that previous video. Well, in short, you can find both copyrighted materials and non-copyrighted materials in MIDI format, where you download them is purely up to you finding sketchy sources on the internet. Usually most user-generated content is not copyright, or at least fair use in most cases, so I'm pretty sure it's more than fine to link to or talk about. In the description down below, you'll find this community article here on Steam, which has received some really good reviews. If we simply search for download on this page, or head to the download section here, at the very bottom, we'll find a link here to a zip that I've downloaded and extracted into my Rust folder. Downloading this here and opening it up, but you'll see these files inside of it, which are these folders that you saw previously. There's a ton of different songs in here, and it's a great place to get started, especially if you'd like certain familiar tunes, you'll find most of them there. And on this Steam guide page, you can give it a scroll through in both English and Russian, and see all of these different songs here, little ditties and tunes, etc. Anyway, it's a pretty good place to get started. So that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno Behavior Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.